Hey everybody, welcome to MT Guitar. Today we're doing exercise number seven, um, and it's part two of sixth intervals. So I'm leaving a link in the description below if you want to see part one. But basically this is part two of six variations of ways to play sixths. And um, we're going to focus on starting in the open position and going all the way up the neck. And we're also going to do the fifth and third strings and the sixth and fourth strings. And uh, as I mentioned in part one, sixths are very common uh, in rock, pop, blues, country, and they're really pretty and they're really easy to play because they're usually uh, not that big of a stretch. And you kind of hear them all the time. So uh, we have these three variations to, to go through and that'll complete the uh, sixth exercise. I have some links in the description below for you to check out, uh, more resources to look at, as well as um, ways to support the channel. I really appreciate it. And um, thanks everybody for watching. With that, let's get started on this lesson and zoom in on the hands. All right, so the first variation is going to start open and we're going to go all the way up to the 12th fret. So it's the most challenging, but um, the most rewarding if, if you can do it, because then you can play sixths all over the fretboard, essentially on all the strings. So, usually with sixths we skip a string, um, and that's just the nature of the way the, gu the guitar is tuned. But in this case, we don't have the space to skip a string on the open E, so we're just gonna have to go open, fourth fret, fifth string, okay? And we're in the key of E major, so that's a sixth interval. Next, second fret, sixth string, first fret, fourth string. Then we're going to go uh, fourth fret, sixth string, second fret, fourth string. Notice the fingering I'm doing. Try to follow it exactly. Okay. Um, now we're going to go open A and fourth fret. Again, we're not going to skip a string. So fifth string, fourth fret, fourth string. Okay. Now second fret, first fret. Uh, fifth string, third string. Now we're going to go fourth fret, fifth string, second fret. And the rule we want to follow, we haven't really had an opportunity to, to apply this rule until now, is that we want to always, uh, we want to never use the same fingers if possible. So we've just used the third and first finger. And now we're going to use the pinky in middle for this, for this two frets up. So fourth fret, second fret. Switch fingers, 6th fret, 4th fret. And that's what classical guitar uh, really emphasizes is switching the fingers when possible. Okay, good. We've done that. Now we're going to do 2nd fret, 2nd fret, 1st and 4th uh, and 2nd strings, 1st and 2nd fingers. And then switch fingers, 2 frets up. So 2-2 two, two to 4-4. Four, four. Now we're going to go... 6th fret, 4th string, 5th fret, 2nd string, and um, then we're going to go 7th fret, 7th fret, 9th fret, 9th fret, and then 6th fret, 3rd string, 5th fret, 1st string, then switch the fingers, 8 and 7. Why don't we review all that so far? Keep going. Good job. 9-9, nine, 11-11. Nine, eleven, eleven. We switch the fingers. And we end the exercise here. 13-12. And then back down. And you end it there. So pretty difficult, right? Um, it's not a beginner exercise, but this is, you know, very, very good for your fingers. It'll warm up all four of your fingers. You can start the day with this exercise. So that's exercise, uh, that's variation one of part two or variation four of, of six, if you count part one. Okay, now we'll do the next one. 
And uh, this one is uh, going to use the fifth and third strings only, all up and down the neck. So, key of E major. So, if we play an E major chord and we look at the fifth and third strings of that chord, it starts here. So, second fret, fifth string, first fret, third string, fourth fret, second fret, switch fingers, sixth fret, fourth fret, seventh fret, sixth fret. Switch fingers, 9th fret, 8th fret, 11th uh, fret, 9th fret, and then uh, we can't switch fingers there, so we have to go here, 12th fret, 11th fret, up 2 frets, switch the fingers, 14th and 13th, and we're done. Let's do it all up to there, and then we'll go back down. Good, now go back down. have a faster speed on the uh, intro of the video if you want to work it out. Now the last variation um, is the sixth and fourth strings but we have to start with there until we get here okay so open fourth fret uh, fifth string and it's important to do it with the pinky so that we're ready for the next one here so there you go and now second fret sixth string first fret fourth string we're not going to be able to switch fingers yet, so now 4th fret, 2nd fret. Again, can't switch fingers, so 5th fret, 4th fret. Now we can, 2 frets up, 7th and 6th fret. Ninth fret and 7th fret, switch fingers to pinky and middle, 11, 9. 12 and, and 11, switch fingers 2 frets up, and that's the end of the exercise. Let's do all that slow. down ready and we end it there you can just end on the E chord after that so that's all three variations with different speeds um, what you want to do is you want to memorize this as quickly as possible so that you can do it to a metronome and you want to do it to different speeds Sometimes you want to do it nice and slow. Sometimes you want to speed it up. Um, you want to make sure that you're not going too fast to where you're you're messing up the fingerings, and that's kind of important. That's kind of the point of the exercise is to get the fingerings exact, so that when you're playing and you're jamming with your friends, or you're improvising by yourself even, you're not um, worried about the fingerings because you've done the hard work. So the exercises are meant to make it so you can go seamlessly when you're you're playing and not have to think about it in the future so hope you've enjoyed these exercises check out part one if you haven't already and uh, enjoy working on this all right well done everybody uh, so remember to practice these slow and um, get them up to speed over time and uh, remember to subscribe to MT guitar and check out the description for things to look at other than that um, have a great day and we'll see you next lesson bye